Righto, welcome back to instruction list. Here we go. So, as with the others, we need to generate ourselves a new program organizational unit. So, we're going to add one here, POU. So, in here, we're going to call it IL. So, instruction list down here. Remember, select instruction list. So, there we have it. That one there. Okay, again, we need to add it. So it runs, so we add the object, program call. So we're going to call instruction list. Okay, add that. There it is. Oh, that's a surplus one, so we'll just get rid of that. Thank gone. So we're going to use the same again, uh, same variable. So I'm just going to copy these in. Uh, instruction lists are a little less, um, a little less assistive so we need to make sure we've got our variables in here so we'll get these uh, and paste these in so again two switches we're going to go with an and so what we have here is uh, our instruction list runs basically with a stack so we need to load stuff up first so we need to load switch one so we need to put the value onto the stack then we need to okay insert a line below and then we need to and that with switch two so we're going to do the same thing that we did with function block we're going to do an and of the two so and with switch be right if I could spell there we go s w i t c h switch two okay now we need to have another line below and now we need to store because that's pushed it onto the accumulator we've added it and that's stayed in the accumulator so this is very much more in the uh, the machine code world so we now need to store that into a variable so here we go we're going to store that into lamp one so that should work for us so that looks pretty good so we can build this and check that it works so here we go it looks promising to me no warnings no errors so we will down or log in so we will log in with a download so again we uh, we will start running it so we haven't changed the uh, switches and lamps to uh, to be operating with this now this this is uh, still working on the structured tech on the uh, sorry on the FBD so it'll work but it's not changing anything here so in this case we'll get rid of this and give us some space so we'll prepare a value and we write the value control S7 so true nothing there so if we change the other one to true so debug write values bang we have an output so now I'm just going to go offline and we'll change the visualization so, so we've gone offline so let's open up the visualization again so here we have the visualization okay and I'm going to split the screen again so we can see the two of them so here's the properties let's just pin that for the moment so we can see it so again remove that here we go so we now have our instruction list so switch one there it is changed get in here delete it switch two and get in here and we will delete that and grab the lamp out of the instruction list so you see this uh, conforms to the IEC language so it's uh, it's all the dot notation down from the uh, from the application layout so you can uh, find your way down the path to uh, to all of the, the various uh, all the various all the various switches and uh, and other other assets that are uh, in the tree in the local variables so we'll now go online uh, we'll just auto hide that and we'll push it online and we'll see if the switches work for us so So no errors, no warnings, so we're all good. 
uh, debug start. So here we go. True, true. Just like that. Test and prove our code. So there's an AND. So a straight AND, same as we had in the function block diagram. So next, sequential function charts.